your blood pressure. Thanks to community health centers, many Minnesotans have life-saving stories to Very tell. Good. 128 over 76. We want people coming in for preventive care. We want to take care of chronic diseases early. We want to prevent people waiting until their conditions become so bad that they need to access emergency care or have unnecessary hospitalizations. Hi, this is Vera from Open Door Health Center. In a time of layoffs and public health insurance cuts, Minnesota's 18 federally qualified community health centers have grown in importance for primary care services. Governor Dayton uh, opting into early Medicaid is, has a tremendous impact on community health centers. Um, just backing up a little bit, the GMC changes last year meant 6,000 of our patients were basically uninsured um, due to the changes in the program. So those folks would now all be covered under the early opt-in for, for Medicaid. A community health center operates with just over 50% federal funding. State dollars vary. The rest is comprised of private donations and a sliding scale fee for patients based on income. Because I'd rather see folks come into the community health center and receive primary care for $180 a visit rather than go into the emergency room at HCMC, which costs thousands. The, you push things, the bubble has to pop up elsewhere. In dental, our dental program is really one of the areas of kind of significant concern right now. The state's looking at actually reducing adult be dental benefits. So if that were to happen, we're going to see more people trying to access emergency care because of dental pain. Community health centers as part of our safety net in the state of Minnesota are vital and you're never going to know when you're going to need them. That's one thing this recession, whatever you want to call it, over the last two years has taught us that Minnesota does need a safety net and healthcare is a piece of that and community health centers are the most cost effective way to deliver that.